There are two ways to connect your Canon M50 to OBS. You can either use the EOS webcam utility software or you can use the capture card method. Now, if you're wondering about the differences between the two methods, I've made a separate video where I do a comparison and I listed down the pros and cons. You can check out that video, but please do that after you're done watching this video. If not, YouTube is not gonna like it when you click away from my video halfway through. Link will be in the description. Starting with the first method, using the Canon EOS webcam utility software. Now, this is Canon's official software, and at the time of this recording, it's free for you to download and use. This is not to be confused with the other Canon EOS utility software that's just missing the word webcam in between. That software does other things like transferring files from your camera to the computer, remotely controlling your camera from the computer, and so on. So I don't know why the names are very similar, I just wanna point it out before you get confused yourself. It's available on both Windows and Mac, and the official web page will update whenever it supports a new camera model. By the way, I'll leave a link to this EOS webcam utility software in the description below so you can check it out. So to get started, you just download this software, install it into your computer, then hardware-wise, you will need a micro USB to USB cable to connect your Canon M50 to your computer. In case you need that, link will also be in the description. Next, head over to the M50, switch to video mode, and turn on the camera. Now, when I was first trying out this software, I was a bit confused. I spent at least 20 minutes or 30 minutes looking for the software in my computer. <sighs> Turns out, it's more like a plugin than an actual software with an interface. No menus, no buttons, none of that. The next method to turn your Canon M50 into a webcam is to use a capture card. Now, there are different brands of capture cards out there, and there are different price ranges, I've got this one right here. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. It's the cheapest one I could find and it does its job surprisingly well. You'll also need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Now in terms of the setup, you first need to connect the capture card to your computer. Then connect the HDMI end of the cable to the capture card and take the micro HDMI end and connect that to the camera. Next, go to your camera, switch to video mode and turn on the camera. One thing to note when you're using this capture card method is that the Canon M50 screen is being mirrored to your computer. That means you'll see all sorts of camera information on your video recording itself. This is what we call dirty HDMI output, by the way. Now, the opposite is to get a clean HDMI output. And to get that clean HDMI output, head over to your video settings in your Canon M50, head over to tab number nine, select HDMI info display, Depending on which setting you're using for your video, select the clean output for either 4K or Full HD. Unfortunately, this clean HDMI output setting is only available on the Canon M50 Mark II, which is the latest camera model. So I'll make another video in the future if I can find a solution for the normal Canon M50. Now that you've connected the Canon M50 to your computer, it's time to add it into OBS as a new source. You can add the Canon M50 to any existing scenes that you have already set up, like the ones I have here. But for this example, I'm going to do this in a new scene. So I'm starting from scratch. Click this plus icon right here, and then give this scene a name. I'm gonna call it live stream example. In order to add the EOS webcam utility, head over to the next window called sources, click on a plus icon and select video capture device. Now you might have noticed that I already have EOS webcam utility in my existing setup. I'm gonna ignore that for now and we're gonna treat it as a fresh install. So we're gonna call it the same thing, but with a number two at the back. And then click okay. Within this device drop down menu, when you click on it, you'll see a whole bunch of other options, including other webcams you might have already installed. So we're gonna choose the EOS webcam utility instead and you can already see a footage of the feed from the Canon M50. As you scroll down this window, there are a bunch of other settings here and the most important one are the resolution and the FPS or frames per second. But the downside is you can't really customize it. When you click here and click custom, you realize that when you're selecting a different resolution, it's forcing you to go by the 1024 times 576. So there's really no point here, and I would recommend you just not touch this setting at all, leave it to be device default. So click OK, 
Now you can adjust the size of the camera footage by dragging this box around. And you can see here, if it goes beyond the border, uh, you're gonna cut your camera feed by a certain percent. So let's say if you're doing a live stream, you can put it on top right here, and then you can drag these handles to resize how big you want the camera feed to be. So you can also make this into a full screen by dragging the handles again, but this time filling up the entire screen itself until you reach the borders. To add the capture card footage, repeat the same steps as before. So hit over here and select video device capture and let's call this capture card 2. But the difference now is in a device selection drop down, you would select the USB video. You can change the resolution and FPS, but I recommend that you follow the device default. Uh, that way you won't confuse yourself when you change something on a camera and once you change something on your settings on a computer. But if you insist on changing the settings, you can click here, select custom. When you click a drop down here, there are more options for you. You can also type in the number yourself and then you can also change the FPS here but I still prefer to leave it to device default. That way you can avoid any confusion. So with that, just click OK. And now the settings are in place and you can already see the live feed from the Canon M50 itself. And just like before, don't forget to resize the camera as you see fit. Check out this video right here to learn more about the difference between the EOS webcam utility and the capture card. Also check out these other Canon M50 tutorials right here.